first one out, uh, Michael. Uh, and this is about ending situations, maybe difficult situations that you've been in. Things where you couldn't really get a grasp of things. So there's new opportunities coming for those who have had trouble. Uh, the second one that came out is the page of Raphael. So maybe you're learning, learning new things, how to cope with things, um, balancing out an emotional situation, also receiving messages. Could be from friends, um, you know, loved ones, family, whatever that is for you. And then the King of Michael. So this is really um, having wisdom and being rational. Um, really being objective and uh, um, staying true to your integrity okay and then the queen of gabriel so a lot of uh, success charming like brilliant energy going on right now um it's it's also that feeling of going after what it is that you're wanting to go after so um really uh attracting people attracting good things um definitely could be on that sense of um you know starting new things for yourself especially with the ending cycles with dark stuff being able to go towards better things for yourself let's see at the bottom of the deck is six of michael so really believing that there's light at the end of the tunnel you're leaving a very hard phase and it's funny because the ten of michael is very much like that you know you've been stuck on something um maybe completing something trying to come out of it and really there is light at the end of the tunnel so this might change your plans um maybe this is you relocating as well homes maybe jobs you know um and then at the top of the deck is the six of Raphael. so you got the six of michael at the bottom where you're leaving rocky stuff to go into some kind of peace and harmony because uh, sixes are about balancing and harmony so this is definitely maybe the six of cups this is what the six of cups is returning to happier a happier you maybe this is new friends maybe this is a, a rekindling a relationship um even dealing with children okay so very nice i feel like it's balancing i feel like it's balancing energy and that sounds it feels good okay so welcome guys. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying healthy, keeping your mind fed with positive positive things, not so much negative stuff. Um and being discernment uh di discernment uh, having discernment, uh really seeing through all the uh, you know, lies, negativities, uh, things like that. I feel like that's what people are waking up to right now. So very nice. Let's see here. Um let's use this one. I want to know, what is the Ten of Michael for the viewer, please? The Ten of Michael. They said that one, too. It'll come back out. Um, let's see here. So, Three of Wands. That's beautiful energy. You are leaving something. Uh, there's definitely the situation that has ended for you. I feel like you finally are free from something. There's new opportunities coming for you. Um, so, now it's like the things that maybe you had put on hold or maybe even things that just weren't coming in for you they're gonna start coming in with the, with the three of wands um so start packing start making plans um it feels like those things that you've been waiting for are finally docking um and then you have the tower and it's because you could be going through this very quick change at this point um where things just seem unstable and anything that it is is um it's almost like it feels like everything that is um what once was true and upright is sort of upside down not truthful and sort of upside down you know it's almost maybe you're just going through this kind of cycle where you feel like you're spinning up and down up and down but something's going to change here something's going to give way to you being able to move towards something is what I feel. Um, at the bottom of the deck is the Six of Cups. So it's very top, topsy-turvy, you know. Um, let's see. Going going back to happiness, I feel. Um, I was going to ask what the Tower is. You got the Ace of Wands, definitely. Um, what is the Tower, please? The Tower. What's the Tower? You might see Royce. He's looking around. Okay, um, the star card. 
um, success, um, divine timing, a sense of getting your wishes fulfilled, um, really inspirational and very much a feeling of a gift, a gift coming in with the Ace of Wands. Um, what is the Three of Wands, please? The Three of Wands. Three of Wands. You've got um, the King of Swords and you've got the Temperance card. A lot of healing going on with this person. Um, this is definitely the sense of having clarity and some sort of success. Uh, maybe maybe ending something. Maybe this King of Swords is the one that's ending that long uh, situation, you know been a situation that's been going on for some time um there's really this sense of feeling balanced uh, there's a sense of maybe spirit doing some kind of work to clear up any kind of cloudiness or um, sta stagger um staggering huh? staggering energy um i feel it's like um you know things that just didn't allow you to move forward whether you're male or female it is a masculine card though so um Let's see, what's the King of Swords here, please? I feel the King of Swords is healed, okay? Um, from a lot of different things, it, it feels like, okay? Let's see here. King of Swords, so you have, um, okay, the Four of Swords healing. See, the Four of Swords is healing. So this person is healed here. They're on the road of recovery is what I feel. And see, Eight of Pentacles as well, um, really maybe working on their situation there's a real sense of starting to rebuild something here with the three of pentacles. Um, so whoever this is for you, whether this is you, maybe this is you just having that clarity to think that, oh my gosh, all my worries are over. I'm not going to be struggling anymore. You know, that could be you. Or this could be a person for you that has gone through that struggle and now they're starting to rebuild. Okay, so you have to take it as it resonates. Um, but it, it's really something that you haven't given up hope. It's something that you haven't given up trying to figure out or trying to work at, okay? There is a sense of having some kind of equality here with the Three of Pentacles as far as um, what it feels like. It's like, um, you know, I think you figured out what works for you, what's going to work for you and make you reach that level of success, okay? And it's been a while. I definitely do feel with this Three of Wands right away. It felt as if you've been waiting for this for some time. And since you've been waiting for it for such a long time to either end, something finally ended for you. It came down. It was something that wasn't, um, it was a faulty situation that you've been dealing with. That's why I get the sense that whoever this is, they're healing uh, from a difficult situation. Is it a sickness? Is it, um, you know, uh maybe being in a troubled relationship, maybe being at this difficult job, whatever it is, you getting a wish fulfillment, you're going to be able to uh, really move out of this situation. And it, it is divine timing with the star card. It's, it's really something that um, it's like karmic justice. You know, I told you guys a couple times, this year is the year of karma. So as long as you're doing good, you're going to be okay. Um, and I feel like this person might have been doing well as far as within themselves, but maybe doing too much for others or some difficult situation, okay? Um, even mentally, like um, mentally disabled, you know? Disabled meaning um, they're saying like depression, um, things like that, okay? There's something put to rest here. But let's see. Um, I think whoever this is, they're stepping out of the box, really, with Page of Raphael. Um, what is the Page of Raphael, please? Uh, so maybe um, uh, what is, being open about things, you know, being able to learn different things, learning some lessons. Um, what is the Page, page of Raphael, please? And it is like that Page of Pentacles, you know. Um, so see, there's been wrong choices here that have been made. Um, maybe you went towards greed, you know, money, materialistic stuff, maybe lust, you know, relationships, um, you know, um, just not honest relationships, things like that. Um, I feel like, especially with his hands up in his deck, it's almost as if, oh my gosh, I won't pick that again. So there's a lesson learned here. I feel definitely there's a lesson learned here. Seven of Cups is representing that door that has opened for you. Um, and will you make... 
a bad choice again or are you going to make a better choice? So it's about making better choices here and maybe learning. Um, I definitely got with the King of Swords, there's a, a level of clarity of learning something. Uh, you have the world, um, which I feel is, is someone who is a little bit matured. They've matured a little bit. Um, and then uh, the chariot, see, they've balanced something. There is something there that taught them a lesson. And it's really made them straighten up, become more mature within time, and really become level, level-minded, level-headed. Um, I guess it's the same thing, but it's just pretty balanced, okay? What I want to know, what's the, the chariot, please? What is the chariot? So maybe this is you taking action. Maybe this is them taking action towards something new, maybe a new skill set. Maybe just a whole way of being, okay? Uh, you got the Six of Cups. So finding happiness, um, returning to happiness. This could be your kindred spirit. This could be your soulmate, your twin flame. Maybe a childhood, uh, you know, a childhood friend. Maybe just returning to happy. You know, this could be somebody who's healed. Because I definitely got that with the, the Temperance and the Four of Swords somebody who's healing from something and it's something that's happened for a long time so you know you take it as it, it resonates for you it could be a return of a lover guys i mean definitely that's what six of cups is okay and there is action towards it um what is the world what is the world please you've learned karmic lessons is what i hear so the world you have um you have the king of wands the Queen of Cups, there's the Death card, the Eight of Wands, and the Hangman. But the Hangman is in reverse, you see. So is this person not hung up anymore? Meaning they've been enlightened and they know how to move? Um, yeah, that's what it feels like. But the Death card is a transformation. Um, definitely, let's see. What is the, the King of Wands? Is this taking an initiative towards something? Um, you have the Queen of Pentacles and, wow, the Justice. So perhaps this person here, the, 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 the King of Wands, I, I might have said King of Pentacles, but King of Wands is um, maybe decided to break free from somebody here that's a Queen of Pentacles, okay? Maybe they're going, the action is to go towards love with the Queen of Cups. What's the Queen of Cups, please? What's the, boy, I'm telling you, it's very twin flame again today, guys. Um, Queen of Cups, please, Queen of Cups. Yeah, charging in, look at that. Coming in, ca coming in, taking action. You got the Eight of Wands, which is quick action. You got the Knight of Swords, which is quick action as well. Um, so somewhere along here, there's a transformation that's been done. This one as well. So six of swords, you left something. You left something because I think you definitely, you definitely have some kind of clarity as far as where you want your new passion to start here. Okay. Um, I do feel you've left something. You've left something very difficult, and it could have been the energy that I was picking up over here, where it's been a lesson. It's been somebody that maybe you've you've been um stuck with for a long time that might have been quite toxic or negative you know um yeah so whoever this is i definitely do feel they've had um some sort of um some time to get through some lessons is what it feels like and perhaps maybe learned to do things for themselves okay um i definitely do feel with this hangman, I feel there is a sense of, um, this is where the maturity is coming in. I felt it with the, the, the world as well. There's a sense of maturity, um, because I think you definitely, um, you're resisting things, you're resisting influences, you know, and there's almost a sense of, um, um, realizing that you've wasted effort with this situation the negative situation you really feel as if you've wasted some kind of e effort um yeah so 
and perhaps maybe this is also where you were uh, preoccupied with your ego that didn't allow you to see things in the past. And that's why it's a lesson learned, you know, um, maybe this is somebody who was very enlightened that they were making the wrong choice and they went they went at it anyway, if you know what I mean. Um, but I definitely do feel that all the other cards are showing that there's some sort of acknowledgement to maybe a mistake or, uh, you know, something that's been keeping you from growing, um, moving forward. It's a transformation, definitely, with the death card. So expect some kind of action, guys, definitely, is what it feels like. Um, yeah, okay, so look at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. So, and the Five of Swords, you're surrendering to love, whoever this is. King of Michael, please. King of Michael. What is King of Michael, please? So, uh, I think this is open communication. This is a sense of, um, you know, having wisdom and being objective to things now, okay? So, you got the king. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Oh, the Queen of Wands. Okay, I was like, I know we have we have the King of Wands. Okay, it's the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands and the King of Cups. Isn't that funny? So it's almost as if you have you have the sense of um these two are gonna have communication. Queen of Wands, King of Cups. Perhaps this is your person. It's funny because you have the king. See, it's almost like your opposites, okay? Your opposites get the same, okay? And this is the same couple. It's really funny. You got the king of wands and the queen of wands. So maybe at one point, this person took a lot of action and this one didn't, okay? But it's the same couple, okay? I'm trying to say it as well as I can see it. Um, so then now, there's also the sense of, you, you know, maybe you just weren't lined up to have this kind of love yet or especially if somebody was working out a lot of issues or maybe even married to someone else it's like you couldn't be together but now with this card there's a sense of communicating that um was this person the kind of person that didn't quite tell you true feelings about how they felt for you maybe they didn't have the chance maybe it's vice versa maybe this is your second chance to do that um whatever it is you guys are opposites. You're opposites, but you attract. Okay, that's the best way I can say it for you. And my goodness, there's that sun. So anything is possible. There's a lot of healing energy here. Um, and that's what the age of Aquarius does, guys. That's what it keeps doing. It keeps bringing us to this place where you have to accept things for what they are. So that it allows you to move forward and heal. It's that kind of uh, energy that um, I'm sure you guys feel it. It's a tug and pull because it's not quite all the way made its foot through the door. It's still, it's still sort of being weighed back by the negative energies. Okay, but I feel like it's almost there. You know, so it's it's a different kind of energy. And that's what the King of Michaels is. So what is the King of Cups? Because I feel this is communication. This is a situation that is really calling for honesty. Okay. And the moon. So change, intuition, um, feeling, being able to feel, having knowledge. Maybe you have the knowledge. Maybe one of you had knowledge of who your twin was and the other didn't. Maybe they did. Maybe they were both. Maybe there was just fear within both of you. Okay. Um, because the moon also could be fear. What is the, the queen of wands? Queen of wands, please. The queen of wands. What is the queen of wands? So you got... The, the Knight of Wands, so very passionate, very loving, um, almost that sense of, um, also the sense of, like, playfulness, maybe, you know, one of you is very playful, um, I definitely do feel that there was a lot of passion towards this, and they could have set the, the King of Cups very feared from it, you know, we are really fearful, um, give me one more for the King of Michael, okay, Oh, the new beginning. It, that's your new beginning here. Okay. That's the, the Ace of Pentacles. So what is the Queen of Gabriel? The Queen of Gabriel, please. Queen of Gabriel. Queen of Gabriel. Okay, so first one out is the Four of Cups in reverse. So this is about taking action. 
Um, maybe this is somebody who didn't take action, meaning they sat back, were complacent, uh, were settling, um, wasn't seeing the big picture, meaning they might have been stuck in that contemplative state for quite some time. They quite did not go towards anything. Um, you know, they might have been stuck. They might have been stuck and not been able to move. Um, but it is in reverse. I feel like that situation is over. There's a sense with the Queen of Swords, you know the truth. You know the authenticity of yourself in the situation. And then you have the judgment. So it's because there's a sense of spirit sort of pushing you um, to recognize things. It's really that go-getter kind of energy. Um, you know what you want, go get it. You have a second chance here with the, um, the, the judgment. And I felt it with the Six of Cups too. It's sort of a second chance to give you, get you back into that place um, that either brings comfort to you, um, is very, um, they said compassionate, um, harmonized, you know? So maybe this is a couple that's been separated for some time. Um, I want to know, what is the judgment? What's the judgment, please? The judgment. Okay. This one here, the Nine of Wands, being able to let go of all the things that were just not serving any purpose, those hurtful things, um, really letting those things go. Um, and what's the Queen of Swords, please? The Queen of Swords. So the Page of Cups starting over. This is a, a transformation for somebody. Um, and what's the Four of Cups in reverse? Four of Cups in reverse, please. Okay. You got the Seven of Pentacles. So things that weren't moving, obstacles, they're being cleared out. With the Seven of Pentacles, you'll be able to reap what you sow. You'll be able to, um, you know, get more than what you were getting. Okay. If it's money, you're going to be getting more money. If it's lack of love, you'll be getting more love. Um, maybe this is also a reunion for somebody as well. Okay. And the five of pentacles. So see, um, maybe loneliness, you know, maybe that's loneliness. That's a sense of being left out, maybe a little abandoned, you know, kind of feeling, um, give me one more but these are the things that are going away with the judgment and the queen of gabriel uh really allowing for new opportunities to come in for you and there you have the um the king of pentacles so grounding energy um really making things happen meeting new people um new situations coming in for you okay so a lot of the bad stuff is somehow um it's going down to the bottom meaning it, it's trying to leave okay um, that's the best way I can say it, guys. Let's see here. Uh, let's do this one. Okay. How can this story end? What's the conclusion for this story? February 5th. A lot of things going to be happening that pull you out of that darkness. The dark is, darkness mean, meaning you don't know what's been going on. You've been kept in the dark. Um, things you didn't see. Okay. And there we have the Eight of Cups. See, walking away from that kind of stuff. Someone's left somebody. Someone's free. We did hear that at the very beginning. Somebody is free. There's that king of wands, you know, taking action, uh, making things happen, growing, uh, really leaving conflict behind. There's inner conflict. Maybe this person's done a lot of inner work, um, you know, because they're not paying attention to other people anymore. Um, and then there you go. The eight of wands, the love arrows, you know. They're gonna, this is coming down quickly. They're going to be let out fast, but they come down quickly. Whatever that is, it's communication, it's travel. Um, it's just being open and prepared for anything to happen, really, with the Eight of Wands. Passionate, too, and it's worth, it, it's full of growth, really. Um, and then you have the Devil and the Death card, which is really letting go of those things. Um, remember I told you mental or mental... Um, uh, disability, um, depression. Okay. The depression. I think somebody's really bouted with depression for quite some time. If not, maybe a sickness. And this is a chance at health again. Okay. With the devil and the death card, uh, total transformation. Maybe this is letting go of, of karmic situations, um, money, materialism, um, narcissistic tendencies, things like that. Okay on both sides really because i see masculine and i see feminine in this in this reading so maybe you're projecting against your person because i feel there's opposites attract here you know what i mean um i want to know what's the karmic cycle 
What was the karma cycle? What is it going to end? How is it going to end? Karmic cycles. Okay, the first one out is soulmates. So, um, a soul connection, a part partnership, a soul contract. This is you're coming back to you with your soul, your your twin. Love call. Someone expresses love, leaves a love message, thinking of you. The boat is about receiving what you need. And that's what the three of wands was in the very beginning. Closing issues, okay? Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning. Um, and then wedding rings. And I will leave it at that because that's this definitely feels like a union, okay? That's coming together. Um, let's see here. Um, let's do this one. Okay, what is... What is the universal message for this? Okay. I am the dreamer of my dream. Yeah, so keep manifesting it. Um, that means don't don't let anybody stop you. Um, yeah, sometimes you have to keep your dreams inside because as far as not telling people because they might not feel the same as you. So you keep dreaming no matter what. Okay. Um, what is the affirmation for today? What is the affirmation for today, please? affirmation for today okay so this one here uh, let's see here it says i am calm relaxed and balanced with the wind on my back and the sun shining on my face i have immense power to overcome all challenges ahead and yes you do remember i told you there's going to be that tower moment guys it's going to come fast okay um quick but it's going to be able to stop all these things that haven't been coming in because of that unfaulty, that faulty um, foundation, okay? And that's what this card is telling you. Just sit back, relax, let it ride, and then you'll see the, you'll see everything come out the way it's supposed to, okay? Um, so let's see here. Uh, let's do this one. What are these two souls telling each other today, please? I would like to know what are these two souls what are they telling each other what are they telling each other please okay it says follow your heart's desire and manifest the heck out of it and that's definitely what i feel with that one as well and then it says when you meet your soulmate you feel calm no anxiety no agitation right that's how that person makes you feel really and then it says um uh, and where does all the power come from? It comes from within. And I think someone has found that out. Uh, try to be in the the rainbow in someone else's cloud. So always be happy. And then, um, let's see. Life is an art. Paint all your dreams. Sing your song. Enjoy the dance. So just enjoy your life, really. Um, and I think that that's, maybe that's what's bringing balance into the situation for you. Uh, let's see here. Let's do this one. Let's see. Okay, what is the message? What's the message with this step, please? What is the message? Okay. Oh, wow. Reconciliation. I'm telling you, this is a union. This is too... Two, I feel it. it's like two um, opposites attract, just sort of lining up and attracting. That's that's like the best way I can tell you uh, the feeling is, okay? Something that's been pulled apart, separated from, it's coming back together, okay? What's the insight for today, please? Oh, yeah, no. Too many. Too many. We'll see here. Okay. What is the insight for today, please? Okay. There we go. Um, it says, commune with nature. You are a part of nature. You can find peace and healing when you connect deeply with the elements. Sit in the grass, bathe in the sun, let the rain pour down on, your, on you. Let nature soothe you. Okay, and you might need that. So just make sure you go out there and you take a deep breath and look at the sky and just be thankful. That'll help you get through anything, okay? And then let's do the angels. What is the angel message for today? The angel message, please. The angel message. 
Okay. So let's see. Remain positive. Definitely. Be assertive. Look for a sign. And then a year from now. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's end it with... Um, I think I can find them. It's funny. I have... Oh, they're, they're right in my face. I was going to say, what's the Kuan Yin? What's the Kuan Yin? Sometimes there's so many cards I can't find the one I want. Okay, so let's do this one right here. Okay, it says the quickening. The fast track with the Divine Mother moves us rapidly through life's challenges. The road can be a bit bumpy when traveling at her accelerated pace, nor will you often feel that you are in control of the navigation. This is the part of the experience where you are to be moved rapidly with the divine help. Best to hold on to her and trust you will get.